It's Kelly Timecat again, and today I'm going to review the film Plain House, which is 2006, so 16 years ago. It's quite quite an old film, and a television movie. I don't know how the definitions go for what was made for television, rather than a film that didn't do too well, and so just ended up on television or straight to video as it used to be called what would that be called now straight to streaming i guess rather than having a te- having a cinema screening what's called theatrical release in the us anyway plain house 2006 it stars joanne kelly as franny mckenzie and Lucas Bryant as Calvin Puddle and Colin Ferguson as Michael Tate. So has a bit of a... Is it a love triangle? Maybe. It's a kind of story where Franny, Francis McKenzie, who, whom the story is centred around, the protagonist, she runs into... Michael Tate at the start of the film she's always in a rush and I thought she's on a similar wavelength to me because I'm always running out of time you know it's too much to do anyway you see her first thing running through through the streets of New York trying to get to an office in time for a meeting and she then runs into Michael Tate who's a big cheese someone of a Pulitzer Prize winner and when she comes face to face with him she imagines him saying oh you know so I'm just so amazed by by what you write you know he's in awe of her of course he actually doesn't know her and just walks straight past her but for that moment she imagines him actually being in awe of her work the thing about the story is she lives and works in New York, but she originates from a small town near Toronto. Don't, they don't actually say what the name of the town is, but just north of Toronto. And when she goes home to see her parents, she ends up in a serious predicament because she gets stranded there. Firstly, she finds out that she's pregnant And secondly, when she goes to the airport, she runs into this slightly stroppy member of TSA. Maybe not, if it's the Canadian side. The US-Canada equivalent of our Border Force officials. And she's quite stroppy to the Border official. And the Border official treats her with the lightness and and gets quite annoyed with what the, her treatment and, and and gives it back and actually because she's defaulted on her visa it's run out she's she's barred from visiting the US for a whole year and that is kind of a nightmare scenario something like 400 miles between New York and Toronto I looked it up but She's forced to work at home. This is before COVID, before the kind of lockdowns that we had. And her job is in jeopardy. And the other thing, she gets psychoanalyzed by her mum, who is a counsellor or psychotherapist and has all these micromanaged ideas about how she should live her life and now her worst, not her worst nightmare, but her nightmare has come true in that she's stuck at home in her late 20s and she's going to have her baby in Canada and lost her New York apartment and work and everything. But the one good thing is her boyfriend or partner whom she had the child with, well, he likes her still and want, wants to raise the, the kid. And 
my criticism of the film is the, the final act, the final third of the film. I just thought, oh gosh, just so which way was it going to go? I thought, oh, so predictable. I just wouldn't have done it like that. During the first part of the film, I liked elements about this film that I thought were slightly out of the ordinary, just helped make it a bit unique. And it may have been, I just thought, the acting was quite good. I just liked how the chemistry was was working until the father of the baby was quite adorable for a young man. I mean, he was a Kello youth a musician. There's a suggestion he hung hung up on her when she revealed she was pregnant, but it was probably more likely that the signal just got cut. It was left that ambiguous. There's a lot of elements I've seen in other films about what it's like to have a baby and what it's like to be a mother, the first experiences, the the emotional impact. And I like this the way this was done. Just this new mother was she was <laughs> one of my favourite scenes is is when she's giving birth and she just wants to give up and uh, it just cracked me up she i can't do this i've got to quit like as if she could quit at that moment i just really liked the way that her partner was just like giving her a pep talk almost like say a boxing match or football or something like that where come on you can do it you know just just holding her head and saying, go on, just one more push and you can do it. And I just, I love that moment. Um, so when things developed a bit after that, she couldn't find it in herself to say that she loved him. There's this Hollywood idea of what love is. And to some extent, I was thought that was being challenged by this. It just felt slightly forced. I'd love to know what you think want to get drill down further into films and, and develop film reviews further. Bye for now and see you again soon. I hope. Bye.